Hey guys, welcome to Python Django Dev to Deployment. So in this welcome video, I just want to give you an idea of how this course is structured so that you know exactly what to expect. And it's it's formatted a bit differently than some of my other courses. This is strictly a project based course. It's not a linear like documentation type video course with slides and all that. We're going to look at this as a practical project that was given to us by a fictional company called BT Real Estate. And they want us to build them a website or a web app where they can add their property listings. They can have people search, browse, make inquiries and uh, add their realtors and stuff like that. So we're going to go from the point of, of, you know, absolute scratch, starting with installing Python, setting up a virtual environment, setting up VS Code and then diving into Django. Okay, we're not going to build the bootstrap theme in this course because I want to focus on uh, just Django, but I have it all packaged and ready to implement uh, into the project. So it'll be included in your course files. Now, at some point, I will be doing probably a YouTube series on the Traversy Media channel where we actually build the theme from scratch using bootstrap and SAS. But like I said, I didn't want to um, put that in this course. Uh, I might change my mind later and, and put it in. But for now, we're just going to use the package theme. Now for requirements, all you really need to know is basic HTML, CSS and some programming um, principles like, uh, you know, if statements and functions and stuff like that. If you've if you've used any other language like JavaScript or PHP or anything like that, you should be fine. We're actually going to have a section where we go over the Python syntax. We go, go over like lists and dictionaries and functions, um, the, the, the indentation syntax and all that stuff. So you should be absolutely fine, even if you've never used Python before. And Django is a very, very high level framework meaning that there's there's really only one way to do pretty much everything. It's not like like some frameworks like Flask, for instance, which is a micro framework where you can do things the way you want. Uh, with Django, you have some specific rules to follow, which makes it a little easier to learn. All right. So after you take this course, you'll be able to build your own Django apps. You're going to learn about setup templates, view methods, um, URLs and routes forms, models, migrations and much more. Okay, we're going to be using Postgres as our database. We'll also deploy to DigitalOcean using Junicorn and Nginx to proxy. So if you're interested in building this project, stick around in the next video. I'm going to go over the whole application and show you what what it entails.